Hey there, the Network Berg here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll be discussing how to import 40 net images. We'll be specifically looking at adding a 40 gate firewall as well as the 40 manager into EVNG. Um, it is pretty fun to do, and this will also allow you to lab a bunch of firewall concepts and even SD WAN because 40 gate does allow you to use SD WAN using the 40 gate firewalls as edges and your manager as an orchestrator. So before we jump into the video, I just want to remind people to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends if you do find any value in it. All right, let's get to it. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is we need to find a copy of the 40Net images. And that is something that you will get directly off of the 40Net website you will be going to support.fortinet.com and from there you can log in with your partner login details and you'll be able to download the images so just as an example support.fortinet.com and then you just need to log in from here in order to obtain the images there's a nice download button you can go to you can go to the firmware images and then you can find the version of the firewall you want um, I typically suggest going for the latest versions, which is currently 6.2 or 6.22. Um, but I'm going to be working off 6.2 for now because that is a version that I've already downloaded onto my computer. All right, so let's get onto the EVNG server. We need to access this from the command line. We'll be creating a directory there for the images, and then we will be uploading the images using WinSCP. So let's proceed into Eve by going into Putty. And I'll just create a new session to log in again. And once we're in Eve, all that we need to do is we need to make a directory in OPT, Unit Labs, Add-ons, Kemu. And then importantly, again, make sure that you type the first section, because this is what Eve references, which is 40Net. And this is all lowercase so it is case sensitive if you make a uppercase here Eve won't know what that is and then we need to just specify what image this is so in our case this should be a let's say 40 gate and then version 6.2.0 that's what I'm going to use for the 40 gate um, make dir there we go, and then we're going to create another directory for unit lab, add-ons, chemu, again, 40net. This will be the FMG, which is for the 40 gate manager, which is also the same version. So now that I've got the two directories, I can quickly jump into WinSCP. And from WinSCP, I'll connect onto my Eve host. 192.168.246.200 I'm going to connect Username is the same as logging into Eve I'm just going to navigate to the folder that I created OPT, Unit Lab, Add-ons, Kemu So now you see I've got these two 40 net folders So what I'm going to do is the 40 gate image I'm going to bring into the FGT folder that I created. So I'm just going to navigate to where I've got the image. And I'm just going to drag and drop it in. And similar for the 40 gate manager, I'm going to come into the folder and I'm just going to drag and drop the file for the 40 gate manager. Both these files are already QCOW2. So I do not need to convert them. I can just basically move them or make them a virtual file. So let's do that now. So I'm going to go back into Eve and let's just change the directory to the 40 gate first. Now that I'm inside of the 40 gate, I need to just move this and I'm going to change it to virtual.qcow2 there we go and I'm going to change directory to the 40 gate manager as well 
so let's cd to there and i'm going to run the same move command but let's just see it is a different file so let's move this file also to a virtual and that's it so what we need to do now is just quickly fix our permissions so i'm just going to copy and paste this but it is opt unit lab wrappers unl wrapper minus a fixed permission so we're basically just running this unl underscore wrapper to fix the permissions and the permissions are fixed now that they are fixed let's quickly navigate to eve so from eve we will go into our nodes or we can just right click go to node scroll down to 40 net 40 gate so important to note here where it says image you can select the different image the fmg will be your 40 gate manager and the uh, FGT will be your 40 gate. So let's quickly import one 40 gate firewall. Don't try and change too many of the values here if you're running the VM image for the 40 gate, um, because the trial license of the 40 gate is limited to a max amount of RAM and CPUs, and it doesn't like it when you try and change those values. So here is a 40 gate, and let's add another node. And we're going to go to a 40 net, 40 gate again. It's already on the 40 gate manager. And this you can bump up a little bit because this likes a little bit more resources. Let's save that. And we can even connect them together so long. All right, both firewalls have been both devices have now been connected. We can power them on by selecting them both, right clicking and say start selected. Uh, it doesn't take too long for the devices to boot up, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And once it's booted up, we're basically done. We've imported two 40 net uh, images, one being the manager and one being the actual firewall. So I am going to just wait for this to finish, but here we see it is busy booting up. And this is great to learn any new uh, Fortinet concept. I mean, you can set up firewall policies using this. You can do anything on a, on a normal firewall. I mean, you can configure HA, you can literally lab whatever you want, even SD-WAN, which I really think is cool. So our 40 gate, okay, wait, this is the 40 manager has booted up. So we can log in with the default details and our 40 gate has also booted up so we've got both devices in a working state and we're going to cut off the video here i'd like to thank you for watching and again i do hope that you do share this with your friends if they also want to maybe get into labbing some new things great place to start thanks again for watching see you in the next video